Welcome back to Academy TV. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you can. A big thank you to everybody that sponsored the players so far this season. We are slowly putting the artwork together. Couldn't do it without you. Every little helps. Here's the squad for today. We're at the school. We did do the first half of this game live, but the weather was that bad. And I was wearing shorts. So, uh, yeah, we bailed in the second half. And uh, watch, watch from inside. But... Yeah, it's a rough, rainy day. That's gone out for a fright, hasn't it, good? So, yeah, Blanford wisely swapped ends just before the kickoff and shooting with the wind. Take it while it's there, I guess. Could always drop down in the second half. Wise move. He's got past him there. Gets his head up. There's a shot. No one's followed up. Mark Ford has sponsored by Crystal Clear. Cleaning and clearance. Ten minutes in, there's your return. That was on the live stream. Um, but we wanted to do the proper highlights as well and get the second half because we are documenting Blanford's full season and working with him for the foreseeable future. Goalkeeper's a spiller. To be honest, mate, he's so lucky to get hold of anything in this in these conditions. Um, I had a chat with him before the game. Really nice bunch of lads at Bridport. Great, great club. By all sounds, I heard the first team have got a video, so I will be messaging when I get back from Spain. Commentating from Spain today. Got the laptop out. It's a little bit of a slow process on at home in the studio, but got to get the content out before I go to the zoo tomorrow. Busy. That's gone for a throw. Just over the quarter hour mark. Throw that win. Just can't you can't anticipate it. Big header there. He's got his nut right on that. He's one too many bounces. Ford he's in again and he's put it over the keeper for his second of the game. Sponsored by Crystal Clear Cleaning and Clearance. There's your return. That's a great finish. That is. Defenders just got to get you just got to get a sink on it first time. You can't afford to let it bounce. It's just, Coming away from you and always bounces a little bit different on the Astro as well. Keeper had no chance there. Maybe gutted for that. 2 0, 17 minutes in. Love it. Andre in the middle today. Good referee, one of the better ones. Nice guy as well. Always talks to me, always says hello. And I think he most of the time gets runs a good game. I'm sure he's had a few. Everyone's had a few though, haven't they? Don't know where we are. I've been a ref in the middle. It's horrible. PTSD after reffing. I always think, I always think he does a good job there. Just letting the game flow there. That's good. Thing is, with being a ref, you're always going to piss somebody off. Even if you're right, you're going to piss somebody off. He's gone for a sample there. He sent him flying. Pick the play back up. Nice football. Goal from Mark Ford. I thought the keeper had got a hand to it and saved it there. Just the wind had carried it in. 26 minutes. Sponsored by Crystal Clear. Clean and clear. I honestly thought the keeper had saved that then. He got his hand to it. Just, he's done it again. No one following up. Thought he'd done enough there, the keeper. Not allowed time. 3 0 to Blanford. Cruising. This could be one of them games though. Three or four nil up at half time as the other team come back in the second half with the wind. Weather was getting worse to be fair. Wasn't getting any better. Bridport in possession. He's threaded that one through. He's on the half turn. Nothing on. No one wants it. Bit of a rain. The rain was obscuring. The camera on the left. They've broken away again. Come back to the keeper. He sent that. It's coming straight back there at Bridport. It's relentless. He's got a turn there. He's got his head up. He's threaded him through. Takes a touch. Oh, and he's put it past. I don't know whether the keeper got hands out on us. Right on the stroke of half time. 45 minutes. 4 0 to Blanford. Four goals in the first half. Academy TV sponsored the game today. Snip it, 55 quid. All goes to the club. So, yeah, happy to give a little bit back. Um, obviously, we got in for free as well. So, that no, it was all good. Everyone was really friendly there, even despite the weather. Guy doesn't get to go to um, see the game at the home pitch. I will get back up 
before the end of the season. But yeah, no, if you do uh, if you do want to get in touch and sponsor a game, get in touch with a club, it's worth a shout if you can. All these little fifty pounds add up, fifty five pounds add up over the season. It's gonna help the club go from strength to strength. Same with the player sponsors, kit sponsors, banners. It's cleared. And Andre blows for half time. Wasn't happy with the amount of time he had it on. I was frozen at that point, but Andre knows best. Half time, thanks for watching Academy TV so far. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you can. If one can, not many do. Just get them comments up. Tell me how rubbish it was. Find up the blob. Cameras on the blob. Just do the best we with the footage we get sent. Plenty of goals in this fixture anyway. Don't want to miss any of them. Look back at it at the end of the season. Right, let's see how this wind affects it. Can Bridport use this to their advantage this time? Blanford don't want to sit back and just park the bus. It's going to be a long second half if they do that. Oh, he's lunged in there right under Andre's nose. He's given the free kick. Here is the free kick. I can tell you what I would be doing now with that wind. I think he is going to do it. Go on, have a go, son. He does, and it's in the back of the net. I didn't. I forgot to ask who who scored first on that, and I couldn't work it out. And it's a Sunday. I'm in Spain, so I've just put pretty pop down. But you let me know in the comments. I will um, put it on the timestamp with the correct name. Only one or two people. So yeah, just let me know in the comments the order of the goal scorers, and I'll make sure they get credited properly on the timestamp. It's a hell of a free kick that is. Obviously, the wind played a part in it, but he still had to get it on target. And in the back of the net, that's the clean sheet gone for Pike. And we're back underway. Blanford in possession. They put three more to get to level it, but they can't afford to leave themselves open. It is open. They come forward it's towards the wind. Just look how far that wind tra travels that ball. So thrown for Blanford on the left hand side. Got to try and keep it on the deck if you can. I think that's the best possible advice. We're in the 80th minute here. Won the lot. Still goals to come now. I can promise you if you know the scoreline already and you're just watching the action. He's come out to the right hand side. The rain has dropped off. But I suppose a header from Archie McCarthy sponsored by County Lock Locks. Thanks for sponsoring Archie. Thanks for supporting Blanford. Love it. There's your return. He timed that run into the box for the header. With the wind. The, the rain has died down a little bit. You can tell it don't blow on the camera anymore. But yeah, it was still rough conditions. Aren't they? He's done well. 5 1. Anyway, that's 81st minute. Brace yourselves. And we're back underway. Up. Need to press that. Oh, it just turned away from there. It's a throw in. Free kick. A mistake. Just doesn't even get into the mixer. Blanford looked to break. Look at the weight of that pass. Bridport have overcommitted there. He's one on one with the keeper and he's put it round him for his second goal in three minutes. Archie McCarthy sponsored by County Locks. There's your return. Let's have a look at that. Definitely onside. He's in his own half. It's a lovely weighted pass from Kempster, I believe. Yep, Jay Kempster, number seven. Good finish. Bottom bins. Love that. 6 1. Bridport have just overcommitted there looking to try and. Claw another one back. Need little, little too, too little, too late. There, things are saying. Probably needed to do that after they just scored the pulled one back. So yeah, we enjoyed ourselves. Had sort a of good day out up in Blanford. Despite being on the fridge, went back to the clubhouse afterwards. Got some food. Met everyone, but yeah. Good day out, really. We'll definitely get back up there towards the end of the season. We're going to get the trophy. Mm, interesting. It's pump and dump. Can't let that bounce. It was criminal in the first half. 
and it's in the back of the net. Like I say, let me know the, order, the goal scores for report, and I will add them to the timestamps. But that's reduced the deficit to 6 2. Five minutes and a bit added on. I don't know how long Andre's going to add on. He's absolutely safe. That is battered. Everyone's battered. There's not even any dugouts for the subs. At least the game went ahead though. A lot of games got called off in the DPL on this particular weekend. It's the last game of the year, so if you can play it, you should play it in my opinion, and they can. Yes, it's not on a normal home pitch. There's no dugouts. It was rough, but it's another fixture. And points on the board. Just seeing the game out here. Or are they looking for more? Sent him for next week. Sent him to the new year. So free kick. Save from the keeper. He just the conditions weren't on his side in the first half. Made some good saves as well, which I have many shorts from. He's still angry for it. Pikes out. Could be in trouble here. Off his line, you can't get a shot where it's blocked. Over the corner flag, lad. Uh, that won't the pass. It won't that. And Andre's had enough, but he's going to play for full time here at 3G Pitch at Blanford School. Thanks for watching Academy TV. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I chose Mark Ford as the man of the match. Scored four goals in the first half. It was um, wasn't a tough call, to be honest. Thanks for watching Academy TV. See you next time.